You know that China's manufacturing industry is very developed, especially the shipmaking industry. At present, China's international market share has ranked first in the world for 13 consecutive years. What makes people unexpected is that even China's first shipyard is easily deceived. Many years ago, China and Norwegian companies collaborated on a $1.8 billion oversized project. A few years later, Norway suddenly canceled cooperation and asked Chinese shipyards to refund in full. This failed cooperation eventually led to the bankruptcy of Chinese shipyards. So why did Norway suddenly cancel cooperation? As a large enterprise in China's first shipyard, how can it go bankrupt? In 2013, a Norwegian company called Sea Drill published eight drilling platform projects to the world. Although Sea Drill's fame is small, its founder is known as the Norwegian Ship King. As long as the Chinese shipyard can complete this project, it can not only earn $1.8 billion in payment, but also gain the friendship of the Norwegian Ship King. So the Chinese shipyard actively sought the cooperation of Sea Drill. In order to increase its chances of successful orders, Chinese shipyards have done many incredible things and eventually lead to themselves to the abyss. So what exactly did Chinese shipyards do? Sea Drill knows the determination of Chinese shipyards to get orders, so it has taken the opportunity to put forward many unreasonable requirements. For example, Sea Drill demanded that Chinese shipyards have reduced 30% of the original total to 10%. As we all know, the reason why the maritime drilling platform is expensive is closely related to its thorough production requirements and long production time. After all, when designing a maritime drilling platform, in addition to considering a series of drilling equipment for maritime oil and gas exploration, it is also necessary to consider a series of trivial issues such as maritime safety and related personnel living convenience. The eight drilling platforms required for sea drill are not exactly the same, and they have made many private customization requirements. For example, in the professional direction, sea drill requires the latest drilling equipment. Then to ensure that the maximum operating water depth of drilling equipment reaches 400 feet and the maximum drilling operation depth of 30,000 feet. This requirement is high standards worldwide. At the same time, Sea Drill further put forward the request to build hundreds of employee dormitories on the drilling platform. Once Chinese shipyards meet these requirements of Sea Drill, it means that Chinese shipyards can only sell these eight drilling platforms to Sea Drill. Due to the large scale of the maritime drilling platform, it involves a wide range. Therefore, the cycle from design to construction is generally long, and investment in raw materials, human resources, and other materials is generally large. Because this project is as high as 1.8 billion US dollars, Sea Drill refuses to pay too much prepaid, so that the prepaid payment will be reduced from the original 500 million dollars to 200 million US dollars. This also means that in the process of projects, Chinese shipyards need to pay huge funds. Even in the middle and late stages of the project, the problem of insufficient capital turnover will be faced. What's more, Sea Drill also wrote many overlord clauses on the contract. For example, when the two sides have arisen in the future, you need to go to the court where the Sea Drill is located in a court. If Norwegian arbitration agencies, as the only ruling agency when disputes between Sea Drill and Chinese shipyards, the ending of the dispute is doomed want to obtain huge profits and the friendship of the Norwegian Ship King, which allows Chinese shipyards to ignore the risk of the project. Therefore, when facing unreasonable requirements for sea drill, Chinese shipyards chose to compromise. Therefore, the risk of the project will also be borne by China. Can Chinese shipyards bear it? Because sea drill's prepaid payment is only 200 million US dollars, which makes Chinese shipyards a little tight in project funds. As of the end of 2018, the Chinese shipyard has $300 million in debt. When a Chinese shipyard wants to go to loan to relieve this crisis, a shocking thing happened. Sea Drill suddenly tore the orders of six of the drilling platforms and said that after the contract was revoked, there was no obligation to accept the drilling platforms that were being built. 
The sudden change of sea drill has caused a huge blow to Chinese shipyards. Because the Chinese shipyard took five years, the U.S. dollar paid was as high as $1.7 billion, and half of the project was completed. But in 2019, Sea Drill canceled orders for the seventh drilling platform. At this time, the Chinese shipyard realized that they fell into Sea Drill's trap. Therefore, the Chinese shipyard decided to discuss with Sea Drill to cancel orders from the eighth drilling platform. However, things were strongly opposed by Norwegian companies. Sea Drill rejected the requirements of Chinese shipyards on the grounds of illegal requirements of Chinese shipyards. In April of the same year, when the Chinese shipyard rushed to work for the last drilling platform, the accident happened again. Sea Drill destroyed the contract again, and they revoked the order of the eighth drilling platform. More importantly, Sea Drill also requires Chinese shipyards to pay interest and compensate its losses while returning prepaid. This unreasonable requirement completely defeated the defense line of Chinese shipyards, and eventually it could only declare bankruptcy. At this point, we are very curious why Sea Drill should do this. Is there any deep hatred between the two? After investigation, I learned that the two companies had no personal grievances. But it involves a lot of internet. For example, the 2018-2018 itself is a sensitive period. In this year's economic crisis sweeping the world and the global economic recession, the crude oil market was not spared. At this time, increasing investment in the development of crude oil tool drilling platform is not wise at all. In order to reduce losses, Sea Drill can only stop losses and openly destroy the contract in time. But in the end, I would like to ask everyone, what do you think about the encounter of Chinese shipyards?